It's uh, Stone IPA India Pale Ale. I guess these guys have about a thousand IPAs or something. Is that what's going on? So, it is from Escondido, San Diego County, California. Escondido. Stone Brewing Company. Let's do this. I don't know what this is in the States. Mega Smoke there. Uh, but this is like $19.99 for fucking six, so this better be fucking awesome. <laughs> All right, silence on the pour here. And it is a uh, 6.9% alcohol by volume. Here's a color shot. All right. Nice light uh, orange kind of toffee thing going on there, kind of a caramel. Not a whole lot of, not too much aroma there. All right. Let's taste this. Actually, it's got a pretty good uh, maltiness to it. Uh, it's quite rich, kind of like a dessert or something that's kind of a packed full of uh, malty goodness there, for damn sure. Kind of light bodied. Uh, strange kind of hop. Not too strange, but it's. Uh, it's uh, quite pronounced that the alpha acids and shit. <clears throat> I should get that on here because some of these were at 100 IBUs. I'm pretty sure. I don't think this one. Anyway, the bomber I got is 100 IBUs. I don't think this one is. Well, it's a hot profile I haven't had exactly before. It's definitely a little bit new to me, but... Uh, for that color uh, beer, it's definitely coming off a bit heavier in a, in a toasty roasted malt way than I would expect it. You know, I mean, that's... so. But to be light body like that and stuff, it's not it's not a bad beer at all, actually. It's starting to be a little bit cheaper. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing, this isn't IPA, right? I mean, what are you going to say? Besides, uh, it's a little bit different in the hop profile. It's kind of like Imperial, and it's kind of, uh, what do I want to say? It's a bit more like a cookie or something. It's like, uh, it's kind of got a full kind of breadiness, kind of malty, you know, thing going on. And there's all kinds of fresh hop goodness coming out of here. So I, I'm, I'm guessing they sent us the new shit to kind of get us hooked, eh? Because this is a, this beer is just brand new to Alberta. So this is the first one I've seen. This was at Everything Wine and More is carrying just the, these three. But uh, Andrew Hilton's going to come up with a whole shitload of these. Not their entire line, but a lot more than just the three. And I think Everything Wine will have a lot more coming in as well soon. I got the go-to IPA, which I've already had one, and I got uh, some other bomber. I can't remember what it's called. And there, all three of them are IPAs. And so I'll be doing those uh, later. <clears throat> we got the Kirkland Pale Ale, 
coming at you next. So uh, Costco shoppers, we got some craft beer coming here. I should have tried this a long time ago. We've had it for a while. And the uh, their IPA. There's two others in the tasters pack. So they got an amber and a lager. So uh, I'll be doing uh, all those. And it was like uh, 27 bucks for no 37 bucks for 24. So it's a pretty good deal up here. Yeah, as for this, it's it's uh, the hops are really uh, quite fantastic in this actually, and a great malt. I, I like this one. I had their go-to IPA, but it wasn't very cold, so we'll be trying that one again later, which is like a four and a half percent or something IPA. So it's a little bit bizarre. Beer Zerker, got to give this one a rate. All right, I call it a nine. This beer is a 9 out of 11, which is a very respectable rate. I think it's a, a really damn good IPA. Uh, it's a little bit lighter in the body than I, would, than I would imagine, especially coming in with this much flavor in the finish of the beer. Uh, it's It's got quite a bold finish, but uh, to be uh, that, that light of a viscosity is kind of odd to me, but uh, they, they made it happen. So maybe that's to make it more drinkable. I mean, you could, you could just put tons of this shit back if you felt like it, so... Berserker, that's the type of beer it is, and we're gonna try some more shit. Stay tuned for some Kirkland shit. Berserker, I'm